In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create your first 404 page and create a template for that for your entire website. All we need to do is go into the dashboard, hop over into the Brizzy menu and choose the option for templates. Once we're inside the templates, we're going to add a new template and then we're simply going to set the conditions and give this a name. So we'll call this 404. We'll come down to our template conditions and we're simply going to change this from posts and we're going to set this to 404 page and click add. All we need to do now is go ahead, save our draft and we can start editing this with Brizzy. And now we've got a blank page to start off with. Now, one of the things about 404 pages is you can, if you want to, have a little bit of fun with those. They don't have to necessarily be overly serious. So let's go ahead and create something a little bit more lighthearted. Let's start by adding a new section. We'll create our own and we're simply going to go ahead and add in a text element. We'll change this to 404. We'll center it and we'll just adjust the styling on this. There we go, pretty cool. We're gonna add another text element underneath this. Again, we'll center align this and we'll change what's written inside there and just say, we'll change the styling on this as well. We'll make this just a little bit bigger. There we go, pretty cool. Now let's add an image in underneath our text. And I've already gone ahead and uploaded an image. So I'm gonna just choose that from the media library. And we're going to use this little illustration of a lost penguin. Now, if we wanted to, we could leave our page here and keep it really simple and just a little bit lighthearted. But we can also make it a lot more useful. So you could do things like drop a search field inside here, key links to your home page, those kinds of things. Let's go ahead and drop in the search field so we can make it just a little bit more useful if someone gets lost on our website. We'll just drop this underneath our little message. And if we wanted to, we can style this, configure this to look any way that we want. So we'll just make this purple button on there just because I like the color purple in this example and we'll say we're happy with our 404 page so let's go ahead and save this and then we're going to just go ahead and publish it so now we've created our 404 page for our website let's take a look at testing it out so let's simply go ahead and try to open a page that doesn't exist and there we go there's our nice little 404 page set up looking pretty cool. And now we can go ahead and search inside there if we want to. And then we've got a search field, making it a little bit more useful for our end user if they accidentally get lost or follow a link that no longer exists.